Good morning, everyone. I am in Yosemite. There's my campsite, and there's Yana. <laughs> We only have this campsite until today. We're at Lawyer Pines right now, and we're gonna go to Camp 4. That one's a first come, first serve, but you have to get there, I hear, really early. So it's 7 a.m. now, and we're hoping, I hope that's early enough to go. I heard some people go at like 5, but I think it'll be okay. I feel pretty good about this. But anyway, I thought it would be fun to show you this process of getting the Camp 4. They are shared campsites, and they're also historically known as the rock climbers campsites because that's where rock climbers usually stay because it's good to a lot of good climbing spots um so well, let's go as we just parked here i don't know i hope we're early enough look at the line all these people are waiting here's the line okay so somebody just told us there's 91 spots so we think it's okay I don't think there are 91 people. I wonder how early all these other people got here. We met these lovely people in front of us and they have a really cool story. They've been biking all around. This is Chris and Megan. Yay! <laughs> um, but they've, Chris has been biking since December and Megan has since July. All over to like all these national parks. Really cool. They've been saying it's been really hard every time you go to a national park. Like there are certain campsites just for backpackers, but if you're a biker, somehow it doesn't apply, so it's been very difficult. Um, but they have a blog, so I'm gonna link them below because it sounds really cool and interesting, and I wanna go check it out. So, really interesting. All these people <laughs> you meet. Okay, she's coming around to give us numbers. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. My number. Hi. We're in. We got the numbers. It's like 7:30 right now. She's telling us. You know. Okay, because if your things are in the wrong. It's 8 a.m. and she's starting to check everyone in. Update. And also, there's not even 91 people here yet, so we definitely could have got here later. But we would have never known, so still good. <laughs> now maybe you know, but every day I think will be different, so. It's 9 a.m., we're still in line. And there's still people arriving, and I think they still got spots, so that's good. Okay, so it's 10.20 and we just got our sights. <laughs> but now we have to go back to the Lower Pines and get all of our stuff and then bring it back. The check-in is at, at 12, so good, good. And it's $6 per person cash, in case you didn't know. Oh, so that took like almost three and a half hours <laughs> to check in. Just know if you're gonna do this, that's how long it will take. And we're just packing up our stuff. Goodbye, Lower Pines, you were nice. All right, so we're in our campsite that we got with the camp for, and we're making a little lunch, wraps, <laughs> yeah, and some coffee. There are four bear lockers. We got our own, but you have to keep all your food in there because squirrels also. It's good. Our, our tent is back here. There it is. Yay. In case you're interested, this is what the bathrooms look like here. We have um, some water, but do not do your dishwashing here. And you're not supposed to put trash there. Don't do it. Here are the toilets. Everything around here is so beautiful. We've got a lot of boulders, <laughs> trees. So yesterday we went up to Nevada Falls, and today, since we got such a late start, since we had to do all the moving of the campsites, I think we're just going to the lower Yosemite Falls, and then maybe just look around the village and I don't know, take it easy, hang out, enjoy, enjoy Yosemite Valley. So normally you can see the upper Yosemite Falls from here, up there, but now you cannot, there's no water, so dry. We were thinking of going all the way up there, well, for one, we got too late of a start, and two, we heard there's no water, and it's kind of rough, so it's very, very hot today, too, I think. It's like 90 degrees. Anyway, Lower Falls is good. <laughs> Yay, the falls. <laughs> Not very much water. <laughs> Pretty interesting to see. I've never been here, and there's no water. We're walking out on the uh, Valley Loop Trail. 
like up above the village and then we're gonna go down look around also use some Wi-Fi because well you know gotta make sure people know we're alive <laughs> yep all right now we're at the village store that might be fun to show you they have everything here so in case you feel like you're worried you're gonna forget something just now you can come to the store and they have everything look at this Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we just watched the two movies that they show. They have these free short 20 minute films. They're very good, very educational, and yeah, you learn a lot, very beautiful. I recommend if you want. Now we're in like the museum area. If you need Wi-Fi, you come to Deegan's Deli. You get an hour free at a time, and you don't have to buy anything. So really nice. Everyone, it's always in here on the internet. <laughs> Good tip. Also for charging. Big pot of embers. Yeah. They gave me some footage. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're back at our camp, and now we're having dinner with all of our new friends, camp buddies. Morning time at Camp Four. Making some breakfast. And then we're gonna leave today. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy bag lady leaving. On our way back, we decided to stop at the famous tunnel view. It's so good. This is my favorite view of Yosemite Valley. I love it. Somebody, we'll miss you. But it's been a good three days here, and I'm really glad we did do the camp four just to see how it worked and all that. Overall, I, yeah, the camp four was cool. It's more kind of like staying at a hostel because it's more social and you're at a shared campsite, so and more young people, I think. So that was kind of fun to do for one night. Also, as far as my gear, I said I would do like a review of what I brought. I think everything was good. I, I think we used pretty much everything. It felt really good about our camping stove situation and the food we brought was good choices and um, yeah the only thing I think we thought maybe we could use was oh maybe like a, a bucket for doing washing dishes and maybe like tea towels <laughs> but those are not really necessary. Um, and then otherwise it was really good. We're about to stop at a, a sequoia grove. The Mariposa Grove, which we wanted to see, is closed for restoration right now. So the visitor center recommended we stop at this other smaller one that has about 25 trees. These giant sequoias, they can grow up to 300 feet tall, 30 feet wide, and they can live for up to 3,000 years. Pretty crazy and really amazing. They've been around a really very, very long time. They've seen a lot of the, the world. That was cool to see. They're so huge. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention that I thought was cool about Camp 4 was everyone else we met, pretty much, it seemed like they weren't they didn't just come to Yosemite, they were all doing like, it was part of a larger trip. Like there were people who were traveling all over to different national parks or like, I don't know, all over the world. At our campsite, there were people from England and also Australia and also Americans and also a German before we got there that was leaving and also this German. <laughs> Uh, so it was really interesting to see everyone's journeys and where they've been and where they were going um, 
and it was inspiring, made me want to do more traveling and see more national parks and more about everything. If you had one piece of advice to give to people who want to travel long term, do you know what it would be? <laughs> no pressure. Ooh, that, that, that's such a good question. What? Um, yeah. Just do it. It's so much fun. You'll yeah. never. I, I think nobody can take your like experience ever again. So I think you should just do it. It's so much fun. You'll meet so many good people. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. I agree. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching, and hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos from me, then subscribe, and I will link also Yana's Instagram below, and you can Bye. watch her travels. <laughs> Bye. It's really peaceful. Not too many people here right now. I don't know if it's because it's the end of summer or I don't know, but it's pretty nice. <laughs>